Leo Sayer, how you doing? Are you still pulling that all day, Leo Sayer? Say, say, say Sadie. Someone saying Sadie or Sal, but someone saying something. Um, but uh, Leo, how you doing? So what we do is, this is your tarot reading for uh, January 2021. Happy Christmas, Happy New Year. We've already done the, um, we've already done the section of the channel messages. Um, but pretty much what we do is here is as I look at your past cycles of karma. Some people actually believe that <laughs> some people believe that once they've done something karmic that they're gonna as soon as I've done with something karmic, I'll be with you is what I'm saying is what I'm saying. Once I've done with the karma, I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you, I'll be backing you. Someone's backing you. Like a winning energy of like, well I'm backing you. It's like a winner of a horse race or something. Or face race or doll face. But like uh, I'm backing you as a winner right, is what I'm hearing, like winning and winning and losing, you've definitely got big Libra references of losing something around work, or losing grips of reality, whatever it is, but a real, real, or a company, or a driving company, Cancerian, seven, but like I seem to be losing, losing, even though I think I'm winning, I'm losing, you've, you've definitely got a huge reference of someone that may have Libra in their chart, if not, it's a court case, and if not, it's a case of something that is going around that could be lies, rumours. Elijah, you're right, Elijah, you're getting around. How's mum? But something around that, uh, uh, something is getting around, or someone is getting around. But it's like it's getting around, and it's getting around, and it's getting around to that time. And it's like this crucial point of like, well, it's coming around to that time. Around and around, you could be dealing with a five or a Taurus, or the relationship itself. And it's like it's coming around, and it's coming around, and round, and round, and round, and round we go, round we go. Someone's stirring the pot, or stirring a cauldron. But like uh, Buzz Aldrin, you could be having something to do with the moon, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or the mother. And it's like, okay, it's coming around, it's coming around, oh, they're coming around again. It's like, yeah, I'll come around, it's like, oh, well, I've come around to it, you've asked me, so go on, then I'll come around. So someone basically stirred it all up with you, I think, Libra, uh, Libra, Leo, could be a Libra. Uh, but they stirred it all up with you, they stirred the pot, they mixed it all up. Whatever this is, is mixing, could be music, music or mixing something, okay? And I mixed it all up, and now I've kind of come up with this concoction. Wow, what on earth is going on around a Buzz Aldrin or a Cauldron? <laughs> I don't know, Leo. But like, uh, I'm going to mix it all up, and I'm, now I've mixed it all up, and now I've mixed up your life, and now I've confused it, basically. Now you're confused, because now I've realised that you're now coming around. So basically someone's trying to get their own way, is what I'm picking up for you, Leo, for January 2021. And uh, now I've mixed it up, and now I've mixed you up. Now everything has been mixed up, and now I can't do that. Now I want you. It's kind of energy. Oh. So I got asked to go here. We're going to look into your past as well, but it will be past, present, and future. But I will explain, Leo. But... Um, it's something around, okay, I mixed all of this up, and now I'm mixed up. Now I don't know where to go. I don't know whether I'm going left or right or forwards or backwards with you or without you. Where am I going? Am I on my own? Am I not on my own? Are you with me? Are you not with me? Uh, you've kind of got this uh, energy of where everything got mixed up and everything was thrown in the air, which is a two, which is around Libra, of like, well, now I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I'm coming or going, being with you or being without you. What do I do? I'm stuck in the middle. You could have something to do with around the, uh, uh, well, I was going to say Pisces, but it could be Scorpio. Um, anything to do with S, Stephen, Sarah, uh, S, 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 S and M, S and Emily, Emma. But like, uh, I'm stuck now in the middle with an S and an M. Between S and M, between Sal or uh, Salsa, or, um, uh, well, I just keep saying S and M, 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 from uh, S and M, uh, Cottenham. Cottenham or Essenham, Essenham, what on earth is that, uh, what on earth, Nerf, what on earth, earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what on earth, what on earth is going on with the earths, I think we went over this before, what's going on with the earth signs, something is going on with the earth signs, mm, don't know, anyway Leo, um, let's see, what on earth is going on? <laughs> That's all they keep saying, what on earth is going on? I have got no clue. This could be you or your partner, but I'm hearing this, what on earth is going on? I've got no idea what all this chaos is. I've got no idea what K's catalogue is doing, or K. But I have got no uh, KK, or oh, okay, I don't know what that is. 
Ooh, ooh, that's not a very good energy. The KKK. Okay, <laughs> sorry, but I'm like, what on earth is going on? Like, what? Someone's like, I've got no idea what you're doing. What are you doing? Someone is just acting out or putting on a performance of something, and it's like, man, I have got no idea what you are doing or what you're saying. What are you on about? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Leo, so because karma is no one's ever exempt from your karma, a lot of people, they watch a tarot reading and they say, okay, I watched something from the past and that really represents something I'm still going through or that I'm going through again with a new person. So no one's ever really exempt from their past. So we go over some very important messages, I always feel. Um, but let's have a look at what's been going on with Leo. So something's been going on at work. Someone's been peering into someone's window. Is this Zippy or George? But like, oh, dear Zippy. <laughs> but like, today, children, we're going to look through the round window. It's like, well, why are you always peering in on my relationship? Why are you always looking in? Because someone's just, oh, I'm just looking in, just checking up on you. I'm just looking in just to see if you're all right. I'm just looking in. It's like, oh, can you just pop back in about five minutes or three minutes? you definitely got something to do around Pisces here, uh, around being schooled or around an actual school itself or being um, grounded. It's like, uh, there's something to do with an earth sign here as well. Pisces, earth sign, but like uh, being grounded, being put in time out. It feels like I'm being put in, on the naughty step or like Stepford Wives or the Stepford Son, the stepson or uh, the stepfather or something to do with the father and the mother. I feel like I'm being put on the step stepfather. I feel like I'm being put onto my stepfather. So hold on a minute, let me just put you onto your stepfather. Or the step toe and son. Something to do with around your son or the or Leo. But around well someone that is a boy. I keep something about the boy. Again, about the pregnancy or about the boy. You always focus on the boy, don't you? Why do you not focus on the girl? Why do you not do women? Why do you always do men? Oh man, someone was complaining. Oh dear. <laughs> so, listen, please stop complaining. <laughs> right, I am a tarot reader, right? When I give out messages, you have to pretty much take me out of the equation, right? I am a conduit for energy that is felt, that is heard, personal stuff as well, information, things that happen to male and female energies, okay? So, take me out of it and just listen to the message. And if you need to persist to say, no, this is really not happening with them, it's, me, it's them doing it, it's not me, that's fine, I don't mind. Don't get cross-watched and cross-matched, right? I'm just a conduit to give you the messages. If it's happening with your life, it is. If I'm saying it's them and it's you, then it's you. And if it's not you and it's them, then who is it, M? Emily or M? But it's like, well, it's not me, it's them. It's not me, it's them. I have told you before, if I told you once, it's not really me, it's them. They're doing it. Someone's persisting to keep saying, no, 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 I'm not doing it. It's them that's doing it. It's them that's doing it. Mm, I don't know, but something about the boy and someone always focused on something else. So we're always focused on something else. Why can't you focus on me? Ford Focus, Cancerian or Seven. Why are you always focused on that? Why are you always focused at work? Why is it that that brings you the most amount of joy other than me? Or why does the boy bring you the most amount of joy other than me? Because it's a bit like a bundle, right? It's like, well, I'm just going to join in with a bundle. So you've kind of got like, um, well, why is it then that you bundle me up? It's kind of uh, like, why do you, um, what am I hearing? Sorry. Something to do with um, why do you always focus on them, but you don't never focus on me? Why is it that you always focus on work, but you don't focus on me? Why don't you want me here? Why do I always feel like I'm appearing missing in the relationship? So that would be Queens of the Stone Age, appear missing. I appear missing. So someone's appeared missing. Missing in action. Missing out. Why do I always feel like I'm missing out? Why do I feel like I miss you like crazy, but I'm missing you? But what am I missing? What is it? What piece of the puzzle is it that I don't get the fact that I always feel like I'm missing? But why do I always still feel like I'm still missing out? Mm. because I don't want three of you I just want two of you I don't want to be with you their man someone else in a relationship or something family wise or work why is it that 
I just want you, but nobody else. Why is it that I always want you, but I don't want anybody else? I don't want no one else around, I just want you. I don't want anyone else to interfere, interfere into anything that I'm going through. All I want is quality time with just me and you, no one else. No work, no nothing, no one in the way, just me and you, just me and you. That's all I keep hearing, in you. Someone might need to wind their neck in, maybe. I don't know, you ever seen Emu? Um, what was that, Rod, Jane? Uh, Rod, uh, Emu, Rod, is it Rod? Might be a fish, might be a Rod. <laughs> Fishing Rod, or Roger. Roger Rabbit, Rabbit, Abbot, Abbot, Abby. Oh, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Abigail or um, something like that. Um, anyway, so you've got Pisces. So it feels like rainy days and Mondays always seem to get me down. Why is it that I always seem to run for shelter? Or why do you always seem to run for life here? So like, it's like a game of life, right? So you might be looking at a board game or a Michael game. The game, I think you came up with that before. Playing games for someone that you don't need to play games with. It's like a board game. It's like, I'm bored, or I'm bored, who do I play with? <laughs> I don't know. Because um, I, I, I keep picking up act, uh, like uh, references of actors. Like, what role is it that I'm going to play today? Am I going to be Jackie? Or am I going to be Jackal or Hyde? Or am I hiding from Jackie? Or am I like Jackie Hyde, Jackal or Hyde? Or like, uh, <laughs> like one minute I'm this, and then, ha, ah, today, Matthew. Tomorrow, like, when I come out into the smoke, today I'm going to be... And it's like, I never know who you're going to be. Are you going to be with me? Are you going to be with them? Are you like, because well, this is like an acting role. And it's like someone trying to like put on a performance of something, is what I'm picking up. Like, I'm trying to do performance art. Or I'm trying to act a certain way. And it's like, I keep trying to be false, or I keep trying to be fake. And I keep trying to make you believe in something that isn't there, right? So it's like, well, I'm just putting on a performance. And why is it that you all seem to run in the opposite direction? Here. Yeah. Unless you're in love with work, this person here also, or you are, because this person's in love with three people or three things, okay? So um, if you've got family and you've got two brothers or sisters, there's someone that always looks at one of them, right? Because this person here is always looking at one of them, this one right here. So it's like, why do you always seem to single me out and look at that or meow, like another Leo? But why, you could be a trio of Leos. You're right, John. But like, um,. <laughs> How you getting on? Uh, but something like, um, why is it that you always look at me, but you don't look at them? Why is it that you always single them out, but you don't never look at me? Why do you want them over me? What, what makes you believe or think that, that they're more important than I am? Or your work is more important than I am? Or the parenting situation is more important than I am? Here. It's really what I'm uh, picking up here. Because I'm picking up I am. Right, I am, I am, I am Zion, but like I am um, lion, I am lion. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say something else, but I am lion. I am a lion, but I am lying. What are you lying about? They're saying I'm going to have to lie in court for some, or what? Sorry, Leo, but I just heard yeah, I'm lion, or I am, like I am, I am this, I am that. <coughs> sassy, sassy, sassy. But like, I am this, I am that, I am, I am, I am. But I keep hearing, um, today I'm going to be this, and tomorrow I'm going to be that. And then tomorrow I'm going to transform from this into this. But um, I keep hearing this, I, I am, me, 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 I am, me, I am, me. I am, me, I am, me, is this Harry Potter? But like, uh, I am, me, I am, me. Hire me. Fire me. Someone's kind of like that. Are you hiring me or are you firing me? Do you want me? Do you not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you want me? Do you not want me? Are you going to hire me? Are you going to hire me or not? Like, do you want this or don't you want this? Do you want to buy this or don't you want to buy it? Are you going to hire me? Because I keep hearing hire me or hire me or fire me. It's like, like you're either going to hire me or fire me. But I'm getting... I don't know why someone is being set out to be fired. Because <laughs> I heard Dodie fired, right? So I'm hearing Dodie. Dodie or Brody? I mean Brody? Brody Lions? I Bro know, oh Brody Lions. So 
bread lines, something to do with bread line. I'm lying about my bread line, about how much I get or how much I have. Something was going on around Libra and she's check the, check the clientele. But like I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm a client or I can't tell if I'm being hired. I can't tell if I'm being fired. What? I don't know if I'm going to be at work or not. I don't know what that I am at work, but I don't really want to be at work. Because this is the Gene Wilder. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a woman. It's like, well, Fuzzy, was he or was he not? Was he with her or was he not with her? Did you see him with her or did you really not see him with her? Or what? It's kind of like this very confusing energy of smoke and mirrors, tear gas. Because I was going to say, it's tear gas, man, it's tear gas. Which was in that reading, stir crazy. Right? And it's like smoke and mirrors. I'm trying to smoke you out. Or I'm trying to, like, figure you out. I can't figure you out. Like, one minute you do want me, and the next minute you don't want me. But why is it everybody else doesn't want me, but you do, but I don't want you now? It's uh, such a strange message that seems to be, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not really getting that from a card, right? So it's up to you whether you believe it or not. But I'm hearing, like, this disbelief of this smoke and mirrors, because this, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be sensei, right? And uh, it was a TV program, and it was, the, it was these people that were stars, and it was called Stars in Your Eyes, right? Stars in Your Eyes. So you could have something to do with um, uh, Aquarius, right? And it was called Stars in Your Eyes, and it was Matthew Kelly, right? So it could be someone called Kelly, all right, Kel, or Matthew, right? And like, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be, and then they would transform, and they would put loads of different outfits on, and then they would come out in the smoke and go, today, Matthew, I'm going to be... And they would sing like Jarvis Cocker. I want to be like common people. I want to be like common people like you. I want to sleep with common people. I want to sleep with common people like you. Some do a Cambridge, maybe, the common. But like, um, or the con. Like, I don't know why I keep hearing this energy of like, it's just a con. I'm just trying to con you. I'm just trying to trick you. I'm just trying to fool you to make you believe with smoke and mirrors that I am doing something that I'm physically not. Like a con, like the greatest con, like the greatest, um, what's that comes on at Christmas? The greatest showman, the greatest show. It's like I'm gonna put on the greatest performance and the greatest show of a lifetime. And like, um, I'm gonna dress up and I'm gonna do something and it's a bit like you better shape up because I need a man it's like well you better shape up because I need you I need you you better shape up what someone's getting in shape physical physical I wanna get physical Michael I know Michael as well but I just wanna get Cal Cal Callum Cameron Callum Camon, Camon, Camon Mile. Some of you drink Camon Mile, or the Green Mile, or like a uh, Mile, uh, M and M, but like. <laughs> Whoop! There goes Rabbity. Up oh, there goes Abbity, uh, Abbott or Abby, uh, but there you are. There they go again. It's like there you go again. There you go again. Someone pulling or been pulling like a rabbit out of a hat or like a trick, like a smoke and mirrors, trying to get someone to believe in them when no one believes them. It's like I keep trying to get you to believe me, but you don't believe me, do you? Well, belief is a lie, right? A lie. That's where the lie comes from because belief says lie. Believe is a lie. Life, lie. Everything is a lie. You lied. Elijah, <laughs> are you lying? But like, uh, he ain't lying. <laughs> it's like, I thought it was the trash. But like, um, it's like uh, lying in court for someone here. Like, you lied. Why did you lie? What did you, it's like a white lie or a fib. Like a fibia, amphibian, amphibian, or fibby, Phoebe, the name Phoebe. But like, why did you lie? Why did you get me to go to court? Why did you get me over here just to lie? Because I'm hearing the, the showman. Five of Swords. That's what I'm saying. Someone's playing dangerous games, which is the film. 
And it's also Michael Douglas, the game. Like, someone, like, wants someone, loves someone, but they play a, a mind game with this person to fool them, to trick them, to lie about it. Meaning, well, I don't know. <laughs> but you've got Pisces, you've got yourselves, you've got Aquarius, and you've got, like, the showman of, like, you're lying. Why don't you believe me? Why is it that I always try to get you to believe me, but you don't believe me? Or why don't you want me? Or why do you leave me? Why do you always come and then leave me? Why do you leave me out? Meow. Cat. Why do you leave me out? <laughs> what? Why do you leave me out? Al. Alan. The name Alan? Or Steve? Al. Steve. Al. Alan. Oh no, it's not in it. It's Steve. Steve. <laughs> right, but why do you leave me out, Steve? <laughs> Meow, Steve. Molsting? Holstings? Holstings. Holsting. Sorry, there's something coming to me. Hold on. Nanu, nanu. But like, why do you hold me here? Why won't you hold me? It's this energy of like Texas Holden from someone from Texas. Or like, why won't you hold me? Why won't you hold me? Well, it's because you're fighting. <laughs> so why won't you hold me? It's because you're playing a game. Because I know that you want me to. Or I... What? It's kind of like I just want you to protect me from this fight, like from this decision here. I don't want to make a decision. I want you to make it. I want you to do this. But I know you're doing the Five of Swords. I know you're playing a dangerous game. So why play a game? You know, why is it? I guarantee you, Leo, and this happens all of the time. When something goes as a drama triangle, three, right, means that you're going through something very dramatic, either a drama, drama performance or making a drama out of a crisis. Right, and I'm going to make things bigger than what they are. Right, and I'm going to make something of it more than what there really is. I'm just going to make a point, and all I keep doing is trying to make a point. So I'm making a drama out of a crisis here. So when people go through things in their head karmically, right here of five, when it goes around and around and around in their head, they act upon what they're thinking. So all they do is think, 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 think. It's like a ticking time bomb of thinking. I'm like, like stress Eric. It's like, right? So it's kind of like, man, all you do is make me think. And it's like, I don't want to think. Like, all you do is think. You just think, 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 think. I don't want to think. Why are you putting too much effort into thinking? Right? So you've got this person that goes through their karma of a drama triangle with their family, with their work. Stress gets too much for them. Everything gets a burden because karma does that's why it's individual that's why everybody has their own no one's exempt from it and when people don't want to be involved with karma and someone that makes a drama out of a crisis the other people can't understand why the other people don't want to be involved right that's why five always has people walking away saying fuck that Marvel. i'm not getting involved with that i'm not going to court for you i'm not going to lie for you i'm not going to pretend that uh, you know something like the great pretender right uh, i'm hearing the song also by the pretenders um, dun, dun, uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, but you've kind of got this um, false pretense, like I'm trying to make a false claim, or I'm claiming something that you did that I didn't do, that you're saying I did, but I didn't. And because someone is going through so much in their head of their karma being too much for them to handle, they then start to project that onto a person. Now that can be of so much blame where you blame everybody for your karma. It's always someone else. It's not me. Why don't you want me? Why me? I all these kind of things, right? So the projection then, when I'm going through it and I'm having, I've had enough, because I'm thinking, why do people not want me? Why am I in a third party drama triangle? Why is everything going out of control in my head? What is it that that I then do when all that is going around in my head? I then start to act as a seed of intent to think that everybody else is against me. So why, right? there because it can also be caught I want to know why right so you've got this person here of the three that is locked into a drama triangle of everybody that's involved in this and it can either be court or family and work and all of the above where everything is got right on top of someone right about their love life about the ten of cups about that all that I think about constantly is love 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 why am I not loved why does my family not love me? Why do I love my family but my family don't want me? 
why are they talking to me, but why are they not talking to my two other brothers and sisters? Or why do they talk to the brother and the sister more than what they do me? Or why do they always, why does my mother always talk to me the way she does and make me feel like I'm not accepted? Why does my son or my daughter always make me feel like I'm not wanted or accepted when I want them and all I'm trying to do is tell you, right? So you get into a fight. So when someone individually goes through this three of drama in their head, they project that onto their love life. Because that's the most amount of karma that you're going through. If you're going through something, that I'm going through, do you like the things that I've been showing you? No, <laughs> no. Do you like all the things I've been going through? No. So why are you now doing it? I'm not. Yes, you are. You're now not wanting me. No, because it's something that you're going through yourself. No, but you're being selfish. Fish. <laughs> but you're being shellfish. Why is it that you're being like a shellfish or clammy or like you're not like you're going off me? Well, you're going off yourself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Someone's kind of in this state of three of where everything is now going around in their head that much that now they can't seem to find their way out of it. And they're now in the state of like, well, why does nobody want to talk with me? Why does nobody want to like be around me? Well, if that's a partnership, that's why. Because of the three, through obsessive thinking. So what are you thinking about? All the things I don't have. All the things that people don't want. All the things that I've been treated unfairly. I'm being treated unfairly. So why are you loyal to a T? Virgo, Leo. Or Pisces, or well, anybody. But why are you loyal to a T, to a Laura? Or why are you loyal to a T of putting up with it? Well, I'm not putting up with it. <laughs> that's why I'm not speaking. Well, that's why I'm not speaking to you. Right? Here. So why are you loyal to a T, keep doing things that you don't want to do? Why do you do that? Why do humans do that? Because they're flawed by their karma. That's why. They get flawed out, they get burnt out. It's like, oh man, this is too much, I can't handle my karma. I can't handle everybody coming at me at once, wanting to know why I'm not doing anything. Why am I not doing what you want me to do? What's wrong now? Right? Does it, does it, does it, <laughs> right? Does it relate? Is it your relations? I guarantee the most amount of karma has come from, well, it comes from everybody, really. But again, it's like, oh, well, I can't relate with you anymore. You don't make any sense. All you seem to be doing is just, just you don't seem to be talking. You don't seem to be wanting me. Yeah, well, I, I, I guarantee a majority of the time it's because people change the way they're thinking. When they're thinking something that much, they change. They change. That's you changing, right? That's Scorpio. <laughs> but basically, what you think is what you do. The what you think is how you act. How you act is what you think, right? So when you're constantly thinking, you start acting upon the thoughts. So if your most prominent thoughts are around things that are not very good, then what is someone else going to think? Well, I, I've got no idea what to think. I've got no idea what to do. What, what do you want me to do that I'm not doing right that you want? Right? Here. Well, I don't want you to do this. I don't want... Nobody else wants me. Why don't people not want me? You see, don't look at me, right? Look at me, listen to a conduit. Listen to the conduit, right? Just take me out of it altogether, right? Listen to the messages. Listen to how it sounds, right? How does that sound? Irritating? Sure, right? So what are you going to get when you're irritated? Very pissed off and angry, right? What happens when you're thinking about all of this stuff about being angry and whose fault is it and who's to blame, right? When you've got all of that stuff going in on your head, what's another person going to stand back and sit back and do and think, ooh, okay, <laughs> what's, what's up? Right? <coughs> Let's see, Leo. Again, bent over backwards trying to do things for people. Here, seven and five. Man, it's a difficult conversation right there. Seven runs, carries five and runs from five, right? Always runs from conflict, seven, because it carries the five, takes it personally, runs away from it. Like, I don't want anything to do with this five. I've done everything that I can to possibly try and please you. I've been bent over backwards trying to make you understand 
that we're going in completely different directions. <coughs> yeah, but why don't you want me? Why do you leave me? Why did you leave? Why do you not want me? Why do you not want to come to C5? Because I left you in that state. Yeah, well, why did you leave me in that state? <laughs> right, so seven will always run away from conflict because it, it'll be, ah, no, 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 no. No, I took that personally. I took that, you know. You're doing a daft game here, playing with someone that you don't want to be playing a game with. Because trust me, this seven is doing their best or done their best here to accommodate to someone that wants to continue to argue. So the seven gets the hell out of it as fast as possible because they take the five into consideration to think, I know you're playing mind games, that's why I'm running in the opposite direction. I'm not giving you what, I, what you want. I am not paying you attention. But why are you not paying me attention? Why do you not give me what I want? So if this person individually has been going around and around and around in their head wondering why a seven will not pay attention to a five, it's because they're pretty much of the same. Right? Twelve. Three. Pisces as well. Because I don't want to be involved. I don't want to get involved with your family. I don't want to get involved with your drama. I don't want to get involved with something that you're going through yourself that I can't save you. People think that people can save them from their karma, that they know the answer. But you don't, you know everything. So if you know everything, then why can't you help me? Why can't you support me? Why can't you do this? Why don't you? Why, well, why don't you do it yourself? <laughs> right? So a seven leaves the five alone to get over it, right? Which is, well, just get over it. Well, I can't because everybody seems to be coming at me left, right and centre telling me that I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. Well, you're going to have to cope then, isn't you? You're going to have to do something about it because I can't get rid of your karma for you. I can't stop people coming at you left, right and centre. The only thing that I can do to make it better is to not be a part of it, is to not be around you. Because I can't stand being around you when you're going through all of this crap in your life. Why on earth would a seven want to be involved with this energy? And this is where everybody's like... <laughs> right? Because I don't like hearing the truth. I don't want you to tell me what I don't want. I don't want you to hear what I've got to say. You don't listen to what I say. I do. I know you're going through it. That's why I don't want to listen to you. Because you're not making any sense. Right? You're making nonsense. You're making a drama out of a crisis of where someone then starts to think, well, hold on a minute. If that didn't work, then what is it that I'm going to do that's going to make you get my attention? Now, when I'm speaking, <laughs> look at this also in your family dynamic relationships also, right? Of what they teach you to be, right? Because you're being schooled here by karma, a reflection of avoidance of things that go on that's more important than a relationship, right? So what you've got here is, it's like, well, if I can't get your attention that way, I'll not speak to you. I'll do anything to avoid the conversation it is to, or I'll do anything to get your focus back on me to get you to get me what I want, right? Because that's the, the chasing and the running. If I can't get it one way, I'll do something to get your attention focused on me. I'll tell you a lie. I'll tell you a little white lie. I'll make all this stuff up and let you know that all of this stuff is really going on. And really what I'm trying to do is get your attention focused back on me so I do get what I want because everyone else has left me out. And because I, I'm not a part of that and you seem to be doing something I don't want you to do. So because you're not giving me any attention, I'm going to then do something extremely daft in order to get your attention focused back on me. And that's why you've got mind games and manipulation of a seven that runs away from five. <coughs> or had. And I can assure you that, you know, you can be thinking, oh, I just need to skip past all the past. Get rid of that just to see what all the news is going to happen. No, no, no. Don't you run from this. <laughs> don't you run away from me. But again, don't, you can't run from your karma. You can't run from the past. right? You can't undo mistakes. This is why I keep saying to people, don't do that. But no, I'm going to do it again. Does this reading here represent anything that you went through last month, last year, the year before, the year before that? Is this cycles of stuff that has continually happened in all of your relationships 
and everything to do with your family and your work, right? Where you're deceived also by your work, where you feel that you're always called in at the wrong moment when I'm going through something. When I'm going through something, why is it that the moment I leave that I always get called back to go back in to the office to work? As soon as I leave work, all I do is seem to go home and then go back to work. Why do I always go to work, go home, go to work, go home, go to work? And then I get home and then I've got the drama to deal with. I've got the kids to deal with. I've got the food. I've got the bills to deal with. And then all of a sudden, I'm trying to sort my life out and then bang. I've got to go back to work again. Right? So then I'm thinking about all of this stuff. And then all of a sudden, what am I doing? Where's my partner? Right. Right? Three of, what's this three? Don't forget this, because if this continues, what you do is you destroy someone mentally. You destroy someone mentally. Because you can't undo your karma, you can't undo things of mind games, because once they've been played, someone will become very wise to it, because they'll be, they'll be a better teacher than someone else, right? They'll take you to school, <laughs> right? So, you know, people that play too many games... They wonder why people just leave them. It's because they can't, they can't grasp what goes on with them. Yeah, but why does all my relationships seem to leave? And why is it the men? Or why is it the women? Or why can't I never seem to get what I want? And every time I try to get that, it doesn't happen. It's probably because it isn't meant to be. It isn't supposed to happen yet. Some people are in that much of a rush to get what they want that when I say to them, okay, so you, you can't wait to die. God no, eh? why on earth would you say that? Well, why do you want everything in life now? Why is it that you want everything that you feel you're in a race to get? I guarantee that's your karma. I guarantee you that's heaven that's pulling you up of the feeling of Dionysus, of all the stuff that you want to accumulate in your life and the things that you haven't got that you want. And the more that you chase it, the further it goes from you. If you chase money, if you chase people, if you play too much of a game and it doesn't come, what is it that you're doing? You want it. You need it. Right? So you're going to be focused on why you want it, why you need it, why you haven't got it, right? So you play too much of a game and then you wonder, well, why is it that everybody hasn't got what I want when I want it right now, right here, right now, right? So because I haven't got that, you turn into these energies of where really what you're doing is, is just you want your life to end as quick as possible. When you really look at the substance of that, why is it that you need your life to pretty much end between now and having everything right now? The answers to life. Really? Do you not realise that's the biggest lie ever is your life? <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. Right? So, I can't make a decision. Two of swords. Right? Can't make a decision. Well, as I was saying in another reading that I wrote, and I can't remember what it is that I wrote, um, something. Um, but again, I can't make a decision. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5. Again, it's, it's more of the same. It's just constantly that I feel like my hands are tied behind my back that I always have to wait for everybody else to make a decision or why can't I ever seem to come to the same conclusion where the same thing happens again in every relationship. I always get called back to work and the same thing happens. All right. Why do I always get pulled into some drama or some sort of karma with someone else? Why do I always get involved with going to court too, Libra? Why do I have to go to court? Why did this happen? Why did I do that? All right. I'm really trying to think of that thing that I wrote in it. It's really, um, it's really bugging me now. <laughs> um, what was it I was saying? Something about life. Well, that's life, you know. Um, Ace of Cups, a fish in a cup. So you could be dealing with a water sign. There's been a chance that you could have started to talk here. But the moment that you did start to talk, you realised that the expectation of the lie really just persisted to not really be very long. Right? It was a, a Long Island iced tea, pretty much. Right? It wasn't, it was a short stay. 
five of swords. Five of swords, yeah. I'm going to grasp this fight with both hands. <laughs> I'm going to take you out here. I did take you out. I did take you out. Why are you not satisfied? I did talk to you. I did tell you. I have told you. I did take you out. We did go out. We did go wherever, right? We did go, Trevor. Like, listen, Trevor, we did go. And we went over there and I bought you all of this stuff. And I paid. And I've done the best that I could in order to do that. But that wasn't satisfactory enough for you either, right? So why is it that I give you both of these opportunities in life, but you weren't satisfied with them? So the seven is like, well, I'm off then. <laughs> so again, you've got family karma and you've got work karma and you've got being left out. Like I said, this seven, you might look at this seven as someone's very confusing and devious and deceptive, right? But they left. They left you to it here. The seven's like, bruv, I'm left you to it. I'll leave you out then. I'll leave you out the family or I won't come or I won't come to stay. All right, then I ain't going to come to stay. I want to stay on my own or stay on your own then. Here. Because the seven looked at this five in an argument as if to say, well, I'll give you the opportunity. The opportunity was there if you wanted it. No, 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 that's not good enough. No, I don't want to. I'd rather stay on my own. Oh, well, if you want to be on your own then, where am I going to be? Back with the family, back where I started, back at work. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, let's draw you two of these cards, Leo. Oh, wow, we've done 40, over 40 minutes. But don't forget this, don't skip this part, because you're going to get downtrodden in a moment when we tell you that your actual reading is going to be over on Patreon. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, you've got three of these cards, Leo, to see, and then we also clarify these. Uh, what's the most the advice of Leo, please, for this time of January? Uh, you're ready. You say, well, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. So what are you ready for? What other advice have they got? I'm ready for a relationship. Take action. So I think you did take action. And I think this is why this person left, because there was an accused, is what I'm picking up, either mentally abused or accused, and I did take action. Because there's this energy here of action, Jackson, or it says, time for action, five, four, you could be dealing with a five, but like, um, it's like, well, I'm ready, and I'm ready to action, and I'm ready to take you to court, or I'm ready to take you to school here. So you kind of got this, well, I'm gonna have to take action, and if you're not gonna do it, or whatever, then I'm gonna have to take action, right? which can be another person, which is why they may have left. They said, well, if you're not going to do it and you're, not, and you're going to do all of this, then if you're not going to take any action, then I'm going to take action. Right. Action Jackson. Let's see. Accused, falsely accused, maybe. I'm picking it up as a channel message for another one. Reconsider your actions. Again, someone is now going to try and get someone to reconsider. Or they did. Still passed. But like the actions that you took didn't go in your favour where someone then reconsidered the energy and went because someone was saying, well, look, why, why can't you reconsider? Why can't we change the plan that was already made? As I'm saying, someone had a best made plan that went to pot, which was in Aquarius, uh, quite a few other readings that were over on Patreon. And uh, it was the best made plan that all of a sudden started to go right, but then it started to go wrong and someone changed their mind at the last moment. And then because someone else changed their mind, someone started to coach them into doing that. And then the other person changed their mind and they said, well, you know, I don't want to do that. I'm out. You know, if you want to go and do that, you can do that. And then someone's like, well, no, can't you reconsider? And then, like, you know, can't you do this instead of doing what we was going to do? And someone's like, no, why, why go and change what we'd already got planned? Why go and do all of that kind of stuff? The best made plan. Someone had an expectation that things were going to turn out the way they did because they didn't, they didn't like it. And then when they, this person then changed their mind, that could be for the future, that says, oh, hold on a minute, I've changed my mind. What? I, I don't get it. Why have you changed your mind at the last moment? Oh, because, you know, I don't want to. Uh, this seven's like, well, pff, bruv, you know, well, can't you reconsider? Can't you, you know, so on and so forth. You got yourself into a right tears there, Leo. So anyway, if you like my style of reading and you want to continue, then what we do is we look at your actual tarot reading for... January 2021. 
Uh, I have got loads of things coming up, but this does go to both tiers, tier one and the full access bundle. Full access bundle is the same as always, but it will also have a yearly reading that is done through January that goes over there also. Uh, then you get things like bi-weekly readings that only come out over on the full access bundle. Uh, you also get life path readings that go over on the full access bundle. The yearly reading that go over there will be a start here, but extended will only go over to there. You got your uh, bonus reading also that only went over to the full access bundle. That was um, these cards and then clarified. Uh, and we change it up. We look at you, your partner sometimes. We look at thoughts and feelings. We do whatever really comes up, but we do change it a lot over there. So you do have an option if you just want to watch this one or the other one. If not, just give it a like, share, comment, all that kind of thing. I really do appreciate it. But all the links and the instructions are below if you want a personal reading, also for the app for Patreon, because it really helps. So on and so forth. Thank you for your time, Leo. Uh, I'm very grateful for everything that you do. And uh, let's go on with the rest of your reading and see what's going to come up for your month, guys. Cheers, and I'll see you soon.